Hi Twin Flames, Lisi here, and I'm doing a special video topic today um, that is brought about by one of your suggestions, and it's how do you beat the Twin Flame Blues? Now, your Twin Flame doesn't actually give you the blues. It's the process that you may be experiencing right now that, that um, you may be getting stuck, and so I'm going to help you um, to get unstuck through this video. Um, and I also um, wanted to thank you for providing video topics. If you'd like me to do a video on any topic on the Twin Flame journey, please comment below or you can join my private Facebook group, um, Twin Flames Heart's Desire Facebook group. I've got a link in the description box below for that too. So um, what do I mean by the Twin Flame Blues or what you may be experiencing? It's, it's not actually related to what your Twin Flame is doing, even though it seems like it might be. There's a lot of energy that the collective is moving through right now and has been for a while. So first of all, you've got the pandemic that has relegated a lot of us to the home. And so perhaps if you're if you celebrate the holidays, um, Christmas, Hanukkah, even Kwanzaa, or any any holiday that occurs around the winter solstice, um, you might be doing something different this year than you normally do. And while it may feel like a break to some of you, maybe you don't have to drive 10 hours to go to grandma's house or for, you know, whatever it is, um, there's still a feeling of, hey, you know, I'm not around my loved ones this time of year and or the people that you'd like to be around. And that could include your twin flame, too. That could be bringing up these feelings of, hey, you know, I'd really like to celebrate Christmas with my twin flame and they're not here with me. Right. So. These sorts of thoughts are starting to creep in. Also, we had a lunar eclipse and a solar eclipse recently, and we're about to head into a planetary conjunction along with the winter solstice. So there's there's a lot of things happening in the um, astrological world that they're not causing you to feel this way. It's just astrological weather. So do know that you're moving through things. So for example, the, the weather weather, right? We have some snowstorms coming in um, in the eastern part of the u.s and some of you are already getting a lot of snow right um the weather doesn't have to dictate how you feel the, the physical weather right the rainy days snowy weather doesn't have to dictate how you feel of course you've got hormones happening as a cause of like you know getting sunlight versus not vitamin d absorption and all of that but it still doesn't have to dictate how you feel. And that's the premise of my video. I want to provide first, before we get started on how to heal, um, a disclaimer of what I mean by the blues or um, some depression, some feelings of depression that could come up. I'm not talking about clinical depression. Um, I'm just talking about having the blues, right? So if, if you feel like you're clinically depressed, if you um, feel like you can't get out of bed and, and really maybe your eating habits are drastically different um, and you're having thoughts of suicide, for example, please get professional help. If you're having thoughts of suicide, call the suicide prevention hotline. Um, and, and I'm going to put that in the description below. So do know that this work that I teach from my teachers, Jeff and Shalia, is it partners with Western medicine. There's, there's not this or that. It's if you need Western medicine, if you need professional um, help from someone who's gone to medical school for whatever it is, a chemical imbalance in your mind, go get that. But this work doesn't cancel that out either. This is in conjunction with that. It's not a replacement for medical help. But some of the things that I'm going to talk about are going to be things that can help you, that give you power for where you feel powerless. So let's talk about that. That's the first thing that I want to talk about is power. So a lot of us on the twin flame journey have learned that our twin flame is our divine counterpart, our ultimate lover, our perfect mirror, and you are one with your twin flame at the core. There is no separation at the core. So why is it that your twin flame isn't talking with you? I've got lots of videos about that. Um, Jeff and Shalia have lots of videos about that. It's always because they're reflecting a part of you not talking with yourself, right? And you can use something called the mirror exercise to help you heal what's coming up there. Um, but some of you also are really coming up against these core beliefs that you have about your union, about yourself, that are coming up for healing. And as they come up, 
there are little voices that have been around for your whole existence. Like there are voices from ego, patterns, tape recordings that are happening in your mind that are telling you things like, you don't deserve your perfect partner. You're never going to get there. Um, it's too hard. There's, there's like a bunch of these voices, right? You might recognize some of them as I say them. There's others too, right? These voices are the patterns playing out uh, from your core beliefs. Now, how do you know when you're having a core belief? Well, it's not something you can think with your mind. You can use your logic and say in your mind, well, I just, sure I deserve love. Sure, I deserve to be with my twin flame. I know that, right? A lot of you do know that here. What I'm pointing at is a subconscious thought pattern that you may not be aware of. It's below the surface of what you are aware of. Consciousness is what you are aware of. What is subconscious under the consciousness of what you're aware of is subconscious, right? You don't know that you have it, except if you're experiencing something in your reality that doesn't feel good, that means that somewhere in your subconscious, you are believing in illusion. You're believing a lie about yourself. Well, why is it that when something isn't appearing in the external reality, why is that an indication of something that you believe in your subconscious? Because the inner creates the outer. As within, so without. Law of attraction. And these are all things that my teachers, Jeff and Shalia, teach. And if you want to learn how to heal your subconscious and restore your consciousness and bring it into unity with the divine mind, the mind that you are one with, check out Twin Flame Ascension School. I've got a link to that in the description box. I've got a whole box of goodies below this video. So check that out. And you can watch the first five classes of Twin Flame Ascension School for free. They're 90 minute classes by master teachers Jeff and Shalia who are Twin Flames who um, are in harmonious union, living their lives as one in their divine life purpose together. And you can attain that too by following their work. And that's what I do and that's what I teach and that's I use their work in my coaching. And they trained me um, with a program called the Certified Ascension Coaches Program um, or the Ascension Coach Training Program rather. Anyway, that's off on a tangent. Let's go back to the topic. So um, you may be experiencing kind of, you know, your, your twin flame... There's a few different scenarios that are happening right now in the collective. Like your twin flame may be ghosting you. That's one scenario. Another scenario is you have conversations with them, but it's kind of hot and cold off and on. That's another scenario. A third scenario may be that you don't know who your twin flame is. You've, you thought it was somebody and it's not them, or maybe you've never even called them in before. And all three of these situations... Um, and there's, there's more, right? There's a very offshoots of those. Like maybe you're in your union and you're not getting along, right? Maybe you're confused. Maybe you think you're with a false twin flame. You don't know. But regardless of where you're at right now in your journey, you may be experiencing feelings of isolation, of loneliness, right? And I want to introduce to you um, a concept called co-regulation. This is a psychological concept. Co-regulation. Co-regulation is when you may be feeling down and you you may need support and isolation is not the answer. Co-regulation means joining a group and having the consciousness of that group help to magnetize your own consciousness. And that's why I really recommend joining Twin Flame Ascension School. You can look up the term co-regulation. You probably already did while you were watching this video. Um, so go check that out. So being a member of a group of like-minded people who know what Twin Flames are, who understand what you're going through, who all, oh my gosh, we're, we all have signs and synchronicities. You try telling this stuff to some of your friends, like it's hard for them to believe unless they've started to experience what you're experiencing too. So go check out the TwinFlamesUniverse.com open forum free um, and you can you can come and get support there and start to learn about the school and start to learn about um, you know, how to heal your union. So co-regulation, go out and get support. Do not isolate. This is one really key concept on the twin flame journey. Don't isolate yourself and think that you're the only one experiencing this stuff. You're not. You're not the only one who's true twin flame has ghosted you. You're not the only one who's finding it difficult to get along in your union. You're, you're not alone, okay? So that's the first thing I want you to know if you're feeling the blues. 
The second thing is everything that is coming into your reality. Let's say that you've just run this pattern forever. Maybe, maybe what your twin flame is showing you, you've experienced in your past. Maybe you've had um, past partners that treat you the way that your twin flame is appearing to treat you on the outside. Well, they're all showing you something and your twin flames come to show you once and for all so that you can heal it. But as you approach this block, as you get closer to the awareness that you're in a pattern, you may feel some depressed feelings or suggestions come into your mind, such as those that I mentioned earlier. This is never going to change. Um, I'm not going to ever be able to heal this. I don't deserve love. I'm not lovable. All of these things thoughts, these things that we tell ourselves either consciously or subconsciously are not true. And so how do you restore your consciousness? Well, some people think just saying an affirmation over and over is going to work. If you're just saying it and if you're not really believing it in your heart, like if you're just giving lip service to the affirmation, I am lovable, but you don't actually feel it, it's not going to work. So how do you get that feeling? Well, the mirror exercise. Here's a book. You can learn all about the mirror exercise. This is my best friend in my videos where you can get this book. It's on Amazon. I have a link in the description box. Get this book. Chapter five is all about the mirror exercise and um, it's perfectly written. Jeff and Shalia are also superb writers. I, I couldn't explain the mirror exercise as well as they do, but I do talk about it a lot in my videos. The mirror exercise helps you to take what you're experiencing on the outside and how, how it feels yucky and then bring it into yourself. So how do you do that? So I'll give you an example. So some of you are experiencing, let's do a really common one is your twin flame isn't talking to you, right? And You've, you keep trying to send them texts or maybe you've pulled away and I'm going to give them some space and I'm just going to focus on me so that they miss me, right? Like that's not how to do it. You state you're upset. Step number one, I'm upset at my twin flame because they're not connecting with me. Because your twin flame is you, we're going to do step two. I'm upset at myself for not connecting with myself. That's what they're reflecting back to you is what step two is. Step three is you ask yourself, is this true? Is the sentence that I wrote in step two true? The answer is always yes. And so you might look for places where you're not connecting with yourself. So here's a few, a few options. One, maybe you, don't, um, maybe you don't connect with your deeper feelings. Like maybe you're feeling really upset that they ghosted you or aren't talking with you and you're like, well, I'm not going to feel that. That would feel bad. You know, that's that's not being there for yourself. You actually need to feel this feeling all the way through and be present with yourself there. It doesn't stick around forever. This is how you dissolve it. Or you could not be present with your creativity or your sexuality or your beauty or your finances or your career or your joy, right? There's so many different aspects of you as a divine being that may not be connected with, that you're not choosing to connect with and instead you're choosing to connect with the upset or the depression or woe is me. You're choosing to give that energy. That is not loving towards yourself. So how do you heal that? Step four. Step four is the part where you give yourself all the love you need. You use your imagination to create powerful visualization experiences for yourself. It's basically like creating um, your own dream state to give yourself the experience of being loved, right? Over and over, repeatedly, in this place where you're hurt until it feels better. And it may take a few times of you doing the mirror exercise for you to start to really rev up and feel a lot better. But don't stop just because after one or two mirror exercises you're still feeling crummy. Keep doing it. Be gentle with yourself. If you're feeling crummy, do something for yourself to kind of be gentle with yourself. Take a bath. Um, watch a movie, play a video game while you're upheaving after you've done the mirror exercise, right? You don't need to keep drilling in. Let some things process through. Let some of these emotions process through. Now, I have a special workshop. If you're watching this before Saturday, the, what is today? The, the 19th. Yeah, before Saturday to the 19th, I have a special workshop, 4 o'clock p.m., Saturday, December 19th, 2020. Um, it's all about step four of the mirror exercise. And I am so excited about this workshop because 
I want to focus on step four. A lot of you, my clients, my viewers are talking about how like, I don't know how to give myself the love I need. That's what you do in step four. And so I'm going to give you a lot of tools to help you with step four, with that visualization process. We're going to be doing um, a guided meditation. It's going to be fantastic. What I mean is like, there's going to be some fantasy involved and it's going to be excellent and exciting and give you a lot um, of your imagination back. Remember when you were a kid and you had that imagination? Why does it make sense that that would disappear as you got older? It is not a factor of your biology. It is because of a choice that you've made to stop imagining. It has nothing to do with your biology. So why don't you talk to, like, I don't know, um, like George Lucas, for example, and tell him that imagination goes away when you become an adult right? George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars, for those of you who don't know. Anyway, so things like that. Just, we're going to have a lot of fun on Saturday, and I really encourage you to register. It's only $44, 90 minutes, um, small group. There's a limited space. I like to keep my workshop small group so that I can work one-on-one -on -one with individuals in the group, and you get a lot of attention. You can have your questions answered. Um, we're going to be doing other uh, sorts of visualization techniques to help really bring in that love and really give you a boost. So um, this is my invitation to you. If you're watching this video, I'd really love to meet you. Um, I'd really love to see you at that workshop to kind of give you another boost of energy uh, throughout this season. I'm going to have more videos going deeper um, throughout this whole holiday season. And there's a lot to celebrate. There's a lot going on. And um, I know that as you choose your twin flame union, as you choose to heal, as you choose to really bring in positivity to your heart, if you choose that over and over again and you've, you're persistent and you're saying no to those lies about yourself and you're using the mirror exercise and you're claiming your union, you're joining Twin Flame Ascension School, going all in, getting coaching, getting the support you need, you will have your harmonious Twin Flame union. It is like a scientific equation. You will have your harmonious twin flame union when you choose to heal all the blocks separating you from that love that is destined for you. You were designed to be with your twin flame. So choose to heal all the blocks that are in the way. So thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you soon. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.